Welcome to Crazy Performance Repair. We have a 2021 Chevy Silverado here. It has the 6.2 with DFM. Now, why is that important? I'm actually going to do a video exclusively on trying to see if there's an option for releasing the DFM lifters if they were to ever get stuck on this type of vehicle. Now, I do have a well-known video from way back. It's one of my most popular videos of releasing a lifter on an AFM engine back between 2007 and 14 is when they were doing this system. And it's a trick that allows you to salvage the stuck, collapsed AFM portion of the lifter without having to spend a fortune replacing lifters and all the rest, right? So it saved people lots and lots of money. And I'm hoping I can do something similar on these in the future. Now, I have not heard of any collapsed lifters on these particular vehicles. This one actually has a rotated lifter from a pl bad plastic guide. Now, that's going to be much more common. If you want to see information about that, I'll throw a link for that video either in the corner or in the description below. This video is separated, though, because I'm going to actually pull these solenoids out and see if it's possible to do that. So I'll bring it closer and we'll take a look. So unlike the AFM engine, the AFM engine, the cover itself actually has the solenoids in it. And there's only four solenoids that address four cylinders. Now, this one can control all eight cylinders. So there's eight solenoids. And instead of having eight AFM lifters, it's got 16 AFM lifters because this is now DFM. So I don't know if you want to call them an AFM or DFM lifter. Whatever the case, this is DFM. Previous AFM had less crap, right? So now with more crap, we're more prone to failure. Let's go ahead and zip this guy apart and see what we're actually working with. So first things first, of course, I zip the bolts out, but I'm going to get these connectors all disconnected for the solenoids because I'm going to leave them in there to pull the harness out. I believe there's something probably holding them down into place because otherwise they'd be pushed out by oil pressure. This is my first time tampering with one of these, so this should be an interesting experience for me, and an interesting video for you. So there is the pass-through harness and connector. This thing goes through the cover, and it seals via this o-ring, and then of course controls all those solenoids. Just as expected, we have a bunch of bolts holding these solenoids in place. All right, so here's the first solenoid. You can see there's two different chambers. One's going to be main oil pressure from a main oil galley of some sort, and then the other one is going to be what sends it to the AFM side of the lifter, or DFM side of the lifter. Now, I don't know what to call them because they are both. They are the same part number. Okay, so I'm looking at this thing trying to justify this, and uh, I see how it works. It's pretty self-explanatory once you look at it. It's actually the center of that solenoid. There's a hole all the way down here. It's just a machined hole, right? Different steps in it. The smallest of the straight hole goes down right into the main oil galley. So the center of the solenoid gets main oil pressure, and then it disperses it out the top of that solenoid, that section that I was showing you, into the side of the largest part of the hole, which then has a hole that's cross-drilled to feed the sides of each lifter. Now... There is a major problem here as far as releasing these go. Normally, this is the tool that I would use. This is one of my, my medium-aged, not fully refined versions of the tool. But uh, it's got a 45-degree cut. And normally, you would go straight into a little oil tower that sits here over the lifter. And you'd be able to hit the side of the lifter to knock free that unit. If, uh, if you've done this process, and that's why you're watching this video... Feel free to leave a comment. Which tool do you have? Do you have the modern one, which is a real nice shiny finish? Do you have the old original OG tool that's actually made out of a push rod? Or do you have something in between? As far as releasing these lifters goes, though, I certainly can't use this or maybe even that technique. I might be able to come up with a solution, but I think it would have to be with the lifter in a certain position in order to do it. Because the lifter 
actually lines up with that hole in the side of the lifter perfectly. I'm going to grab a lifter to show you what I'm talking about. So here's one of the lifters. Now these things, they normally sit about right here, okay? And then they ride against the cam, of course, and there'd be a second one over here. And then we'll go, we'll, we'll base it off of this hole actually so that you guys can see it better. But uh, this sits about right there, only down into the block. And there's a hole in that goes in at this angle and the hole actually lines up. So if, if this were the hole, it'd have to be smaller, but it lines up with that hole in the side of the lifter. You see that hole there? It actually lines up at a goofy angle with that hole. So what a guy would have to do is this contour would have to be machined completely different and you would have to do it at top dead or, or top of the cam lobe so that this is offset and away from that hole, right? That way you could actually hit this part of the lifter. Now, the concern there is when these things get stuck, is hitting it over here going to be able to unstick it? I don't know. I doubt it. Perhaps I'll try and come up with a possibility, but until I get one of these ends with a stuck lifter, there's no reason for me to really try and build a tool because I need to make sure it can actually even function in the first place. So perhaps in the future I'll be able to make a video on trying to release one of these lifters. For now, I can confidently say that there is access to the side of the lifter and there is a possibility of such a tool working. So if you've seen this video, it's been a couple years since I posted it, whatever, and you actually tried attempting a system yourself, it's going to be much more challenging because the tool is going to have to be much smaller and much better machined. The angles are going to be bizarre. But if you can manage it and not damage your engine, kudos to you. Leave a comment below. I'm highly impressed. Maybe you should make your own video and do your own gig. But otherwise, that's where that stands. You can see how the, the lifter sits in there. And this thing is just not as convenient to be able to release as the previous generation. And honestly, being it's designed this way, I see this as being less prone to failure. Unless the solenoids somehow GM screwed up those and they leak. So the generation previous to this, the valley cover, was a major problem and leaked. But it was like between gasket systems within the valley cover. It wasn't the solenoids themselves. At least I don't believe it was. I think it was the, the, the gasket portion of it was internally failing. And it was very, very common. The generation before that, the valley covers were fine. The Vlam, that was totally fine. They didn't really have much issues, but they had oil pressure issues. So in the generation before this, so we got Gen 4 and Gen 5. This is still, I think, considered Gen 5. I don't know if they call this Gen 6 or not. It's like maybe a five and a half. I don't know. But when they went to the Gen 5, they solved the oil pressure issues for the most part. And then when they did this DFM, by putting these solenoids here, theoretically they may have solved the issues with pressurizing the lifters when you don't want to, which is what caused them to fail. So maybe they won't get stuck anymore, but now you have twice as likelihood of rotating a lifter from a bad plastic guide. So that's where we stand. I'm going to continue replacing this system with a non-DFM system, and uh, that's where we're going to sit on this video. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next video.